This week, I wanna talk about how you can use Google Sites as an intranet solution for your business. Google Sites is a, a simple solution for building websites or intranet solutions. For those of you that don't know, an intranet is simply an internal website uh, generally used for sharing private information. And essentially what, what Google Sites does is it gives you a way to, to build a website or, or an intranet very, very easily and without any need for a, a knowledge of web design or development or anything like that. And as I said, we're gonna try and do that now. So I'm gonna give you a couple of, ex of examples of Google Sites. So we've used it, for example, uh, to build this training site that we have, which is on learn.damsandtrain.com. It's public, so you can take a look. And we use it to bring together all of the training materials that customers might need and embed videos and tips and tricks and PDF resources and, and things like that. Our friends over at stiegel.com, uh, these guys are the experts in Google Sites and you should absolutely uh, check out their, their website. They have some fantastic exa examples of, of Google Sites, including their, their own one as well, which I've just opened up here. So a couple of examples of customers that they have created uh, websites for on, on Google Sites. Um, a residential care home there. And then this is a, a intranet solution that they've, they've created here. None of these kind of links work, but it just sort of gives you an idea of how you can kind of embed things. And, and as I said, their own website as well. They have a fantastic amount of resources on there around Google Sites. I would recommend that you take a look at that um, and a huge amount of examples of, of Google Sites. So, so, so definitely check those out if you have any um, more, more information that you're looking for on, on Google Sites. Firstly, accessing Google Sites, you click on the uh, little waffle menu here and on the drop down, you'll see Google Sites as an option. You click on that and what it will bring you to is uh, the old Google Sites. So the new, we're, we're still calling it the new Google Sites, although it's been out for quite some time. Uh, that is what I'm gonna focus on because the old or classic Google Sites is going away. So I click on the new Google Sites down the bottom and it brings me into this little page where I have all of my um, Google Sites that I have, have uh, access to. I'm gonna click the little plus button down the bottom right hand corner and that's gonna open up a new page for me. So now what I can do is I can, um, I can create my page here. So I'm gonna call it Hyper Global Intranet. Hyper Global is the name of my company. And I'm gonna expand it out a little bit. So everything is kind of drag and drop and, and really, really easy for me to, to change stuff. I'm gonna change the background image here. So I can go in and I can actually select from a whole uh, array of images that, that, that Google have. Uh, one of my favorite ones here is this guy. So I'm gonna click, click on this one and, and Google will actually adjust it and make it readable um, for my, my end users. Uh, I'm gonna embed a little carousel in here because I want to have a little carousel of some images. I can upload images or I can select them uh, from either my Google Drive or my albums. So I'm gonna go into my albums. I have a little event album in here and I'm gonna select a bunch of uh, images. Okay, and then I can expand my little carousel out and it's just gonna uh, browse through those images now. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a little divider and I'd like to put in a calendar because I'd like to have a team calendar when my, when my team come on here, I'd like to have a little calendar for them to, to see. So I'm gonna put in the sales team calendar and I can actually decide what I want, uh, what settings I want for this particular, um, this particular calendar. So I don't want any of the navigation buttons or anything like that. I want a week view, uh, one week view, and I'm going to expand that out. And I do want some sort of title on here so that it's obvious what it is. Um, so I'm gonna put in a little text box and I'm gonna make it a subheading and I'm gonna call it team calendar. And I'm gonna just pull this up. So you can actually just grab it and just pull it up and it will actually move it up to the top. And I can uh, emphasize it as well if I want. Uh, I'm gonna center it. I actually might make it a, a heading, it's a little bit small. So now I've got my team calendar. And then once you've got one of these, you can actually copy them, which I find easier. And you just drop that one down. I can change this one then to something else. So I might have a launch bar uh, and underneath the launch bar, I might put in a couple of images. So I could embed an image, I could upload it or select it again, you can run a search. So if I wanted to have like a little launch bar for, for Gmail, uh, I could do a little search for a Gmail logo. 
we could embed this. Might just shrink it in a little bit. Yeah, and we might make it a little bit smaller. And then I might also want a, I'm gonna show you how to turn these into, into links in a second. Okay, so now I have my, my uh, three images and these could be links to any site, but in this case, I'm gonna turn these into uh, links to www.gmail.com. Okay, so you could you can imagine you could you know you could have smaller ones and, and and again you could move these around. So maybe you want your launch bar at the top above your team calendar. You've you've changed your mind. You can actually just grab these uh, and pull them up here. And so now my launch bar is at the top. And if any stage you want to preview, you can just hit preview, and it will show you what it what it looks like um, with your your images and your launch bar and your team calendar. So that's what I have so far. So from Google Drive, I'm gonna embed a shared team drive. So a, a, a team drive that, that everybody is using or a shared drive as it's now called. So I'm gonna embed this actually in here. I'm gonna select it and then click insert. That's gonna embed that uh, team drive in there. And again, I could do a little heading on here if I wanted. I could pull this down. I could call this team drive. And again, it's listing all of the, the documents out. Okay, so we're gonna create two new pages. Um, one is gonna be my feedback page, and then the other one is going to be my time off request page. And then what I can do is, in each of these pages, my plan is to actually embed a particular form into it. I just find, um, personally, it makes it easier. So I've got uh, two forms that I, I want to embed, my time off form um, and my feedback form. So my time off form is there and I just click on it and then click insert and it will actually embed it in here and then I'm gonna link back to it on the other page. So we can pull this across. Uh, it's actually embedded it twice. That was my fault. Uh, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger as well. I'm gonna make this header uh, simpler. You can actually change the header type. I mean, you just want a title only for your request. I'm going to go to my feedback page and I'm going to do the same with this one. And I'm going to embed a different form into this page. And this form is gonna be my feedback form. That's my feedback form there. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna put it in the center and pull it across. I've got three pages now. And what I'm gonna do is at the bottom in my useful links, I'm gonna embed a image and one of them is going to be feedback. I get a little feedback image and I'm gonna link this to the feedback page. Uh, and then I'm gonna do another one and this can be my time off. Time off, not sure what kind of image I get for that. Take some time off in your life, that, that could work. Uh, and I'm gonna link this guy to the time off request, okay. So now when we publish the page um, and we go to the um, publish link, so we can go to our little publish link, and I'll leave this site up for people to have a look at. Now we have our hyper global internet, we have our launch bar, we have our team calendar, our team drive, which is embedded, um, and now we have our two links, which if I click will actually bring me to the feedback form that people can fill out. And the other one will bring people to the other page which is the time off request, and they're also up at the top as well. Okay, so that's just a really, really fast overview of Google Sites as an internet solution. And, and just to show you how easy it is uh, to create a Google Site, and I kind of find it as the connector between your Gmail, your calendar, your, your uh, Google Drive, that it can kind of pull all those together and just make it easier for teams to work together. So that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this week's update and I will talk to you next time.